Are you a builder or modeler struggling to find your own unique style? Then you came to the right video. Yo, what's up guys? Before you get into the video, I just want to announce a few things. So, I have a Discord server where I do Dev Nights, and also I just keep you guys notified about any of the videos that are coming out. And I have a Twitter, I'll link it inside the description. You guys go check that out. I really appreciate it if you guys leave a follow up too. And yeah, let's get right into the video. The one great way of coming up with your own unique style is referencing. But Rollerjam, you said your own unique style. Yeah, I did, but what I mean is looking at other game concept art outside of Roblox and seeing how you can integrate it into something unique. Another great way to come up with your own style by referencing is looking at in real life areas for ideas. This next step might sound pretty basic, but all you just need to do is mess around with Blender. So right now I am in Blender. What I'm going to do right now is make a few rocks in my own style and mess around with it. So as you can see, I made this rock right here. What I'm going to do now is duplicate it and make different versions of it. So as you can see, I have the rocks placed in. Right now, these are just simple low poly rocks. So what I'm going to do is actually do something called Shade Smooth. So I duplicated the rocks. I'm going to make a, a Shade Smoother version of the rocks right here and just keep the regular low poly rocks right here. So for these rocks, what I'm going to do is select all of them by pressing B. And I'll just right click Shade Smooth and go down here to this icon right here and click auto smooth didn't do it for all of them but let's look at it for this one um just bring this up to whichever level you want and yeah so right now i have two styles of rocks low poly and also chase smooth rocks right here so right here i duplicated the rocks what i decided to do is make another style of rocks so what i'm gonna do is select all these rocks right here and i'm gonna go over here generate and decimate them so now what I have is extremely decimated low poly rocks that are also shade smoothed. I'm going to import these into Roblox Steel and show you guys what it looks like. So here's some models inside of Roblox Steel. Um, what I have is just plain normal rocks, extremely shaded smoothed rocks, and really low poly rocks. It looks pretty clean. Yeah. So this next step is experimenting. And you might be asking, what do you mean by experimenting? What I mean by that is trying out something you usually don't do. So for me, usually I don't use Substance Painter. So what I'm going to do right now is get one of these rocks that I made and texture it inside of Substance Painter. While it's actually thinking of instead of a rock, I'm going to make one use of crystal. So right here I have this rock. I'm going to cut to when I finish texturing it. And yeah, here's the final result of the rock that I made. Um, honestly, the texture isn't pretty bad. I'm going to import it into Studio real quick. And boom, there you go. Uh, here's what it looks like. and. Honestly, I, I did a pretty good job. Yeah. There's many other ways that you come up with your own unique style. It all comes down to knowing what you have to do. But these are the things I did over time to help me improve as a developer. And I hope you found this video useful. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.